This is a quick tutorial on how to upload a file into Google Drive. And the first thing you want to make sure that happens is that you sign into your Google account, whether it be a consumer Google account or a Google account associated with an organization. Uh, like you see here, I'm signed into the Google tools at alaska.edu. Once you're signed in, you'll see that you have access uh, using the toolbar across the top of your screen to all of the available Google tools and you want to make sure that you click on Drive and that takes you to your personal Drive folder. And so all the files that you may have uploaded to Drive will be listed here. If you've never loaded anything into Drive, uh, your list will be significantly shorter than mine. So to get started, what you can do is upload an existing file up to Drive. And you'll notice here on the left hand side, there are two red buttons. You can either create a file or upload. And we're going to upload. So I want to upload a file for this example. And I'm going to look for, let's see if I can move this over. Oh, not quite as big. I'm going to look for a presentation file. So it'll take me a moment to get there. And once I've found my presentation, I'm going to load a PDF. You could also load a PowerPoint file if you wanted to. Either are fine. If you wanted to present strictly from images, you could do that as well. Uh, JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs, all of those formats are valid. So you see now in the window, my file is just finished uploading. And now I have the option to share it. It's up on the web. And if I click the sharing options, what I can do is either share it with a specific person. So if I wanted to, let's say, share with uh, an instructor in a class that I'm in, I could send, whoops, this should be an email address. I could send an invitation to my instructor at alaska.edu and they could view my file. They can comment, and they can edit, so I can select the appropriate level here, whatever that instructor has requested of me. So that's one way to share my file, and I could go ahead and hit share and save, and I could send an email to that person letting them know that I've shared the file. Or the other way to share is to where you see up here your file is currently private, only to people you've specifically shared with, you can change that to be either public on the web, anybody with a link can access your file, anybody within the UA network specifically here, and that's University of Alaska. If you're working on another type of network um, with the Google tools, you could share just to that network. Um, people with the link on the network and then private which is what the default is. So if I wanted anybody with the link to my presentation to be able to view it, what I can do is select that option and hit save. And now if I send the link to my presentation to anybody, whether it be class members, to my instructor, to my mom and dad, they would be able to see that particular presentation file. There we go. And now, if you ever need to get back to your presentation file, it's up in the cloud. On any computer, you'll be able to access your presentation just by logging into your Google account, going to Drive, and downloading your presentation by clicking the link.